Hi guys, it's me, Miss Jess, and I'm going to be doing your ninja class today. So, we're going to start with our warm-up. Please make sure you've got some water by your side as we are doing a lot of physical activity. But, we're going to get started with our warm-up. So, we're going to start by marching on the spot. Swing those arms by your side. Good job. And make sure we're breathing in through our nose and out through our mouth. Okay, we're going to take it into a jog. Good job. Keep breathing though. And bring those knees up. High knees. Nice and high. Good job. And we're going to kick our bottoms. Keep jogging. And keep breathing. Good job. Okay, take it into a jump. Keep your feet together. Keep swinging those arms by your side. Good job. And we're going to bring it out into our stop jumps. Open and close. Good job. And walk it out. Okay, we're going to do some stretching. Bring those feet apart. We're going to reach and switch. Reach to the other side. Keep switching. Really stretching your side. Okay, we're going to bring our arms out. We're going to twist our upper body and twist. Engaging in those core muscles. Good job. Okay, we're going to twist our body down this time. Twist and twist. Reaching opposite hand to leg. Twist. Twist and twist. We're going to try and go a bit faster and switch. Switch and switch. Really crossing over your body. Good job. Okay, we're going to roll our shoulders back. Up and round. Good job. And forward. Okay, we're going to come down onto the floor. I'm just going to stretch out. Stretch those legs out in front of you. I'm going to reach forward. Keep those legs nice and straight. And reach as far as you can. Good job, bring those legs open into our straddle. We're gonna reach our hands forward. Okay, we're gonna reach over and switch. And a bit faster, and switch. And again, switch, and switch. Bring those arms out, we're gonna twist again, our upper body. Good job. into our plank, we're going to do a little bit of a plank, so on our elbows, making sure our toes are tucked underneath and our whole body is in a straight line, make sure your tummy isn't falling to the floor or your bottom isn't sticking up too high. Are we ready? Take a deep breath and go. Try and hold it nice and strong, really working on those core muscles. Keep breathing. Good job. And down. And again, we're going to do it one more time. Up into your plank. Good job. Keep breathing. Keep going as long as you can. And down. Good job, everyone. Okay, go and get some water. That was a nice, quick warm up for you. Good job. Okay, we're going to move on to our conditioning. So if you need to, you can use a soft mat or something to put on the floor. We're going to be doing some sit-ups, so you do need to make sure it is a bit comfortable. So if you've got a harder floor, you can put something down like a towel or a mat. Okay, so you guys should know this one. We're going to do some sit-ups. So we're going to bring our feet together in a little bit of a bridge. Bringing our body down. We can put our hands behind our head or you can cross it in front of your chest, whatever's comfortable for you. We're going to try and keep our feet in the same position, keeping our legs together. And we're going to really use and engage our core muscles to come all the way up and all the way down. Making sure we're using our tummy muscles and not leading with our head or our shoulders. We're going to go up and down. If you want to, if you've got a sofa or something, you can put your feet underneath to help keep your feet stable. Or even if you've got someone with you that can put their hands on your feet, if your legs are moving or if you're moving around like this, they can keep them nice and stable so you're really able to work those tummy muscles, okay? 
We're going to do ten together. Are we ready? We're going in nice and hard, girl. One, and down. Two, keep breathing, and down. Three, and again. Four, keep breathing, guys. Five, we're halfway there. And six, down, up, seven. You can do it. Eight, and nine. One more, down and up. Good job. Okay, well done, that was some really good sit-ups. Okay, we're gonna move on to do some tricep dips now. So we're gonna put our hands behind us on the floor. Again, our legs in our bridge position with our knees bent. We're gonna start with a nice easy one, just on the floor, keeping our bottom on the floor. And we're just gonna go down and up. So we start with our arms extended, so making sure our fingers are facing toward the way that we are facing. We start with our arms nice and straight, then we bend, trying to really work on our tricep muscles, bending our elbows down and up. Okay, we're gonna do five of these ones. We're gonna go one, keep going, two, and again, three, and straighten, four, and again, bend and straighten. Good job. Okay, we're gonna make it a little bit harder. So for the next one, we can either use something that's a little bit higher up, like if you're on a sofa or a bed, something like that, a little bit of a raised surface, surface, like I've got my red and black mat here, I can use this, okay? Or we can do this one on the floor again, but we're gonna raise our bottom off the floor. So we're in the exact same position, but we're just making it a little bit higher, harder by stretching. So we're lifting our bottom off the floor and we're gonna bend and straighten, making sure our bottom does not touch the floor, okay? So like I said, you can use a raised surface, like a sofa or something, to lean against, or you can do this one against the floor. Okay, we're ready, we're gonna do five more. Let's lift those bottoms off the floor and go. One, and again, two, and straighten, three, Four, keep going. Five, well done. Can you really feel that stretch? Working those muscles, good job. Okay, I've got one more thing for you guys. We're gonna do some martial arts now. So if you need to, go and grab yourself some water. We're gonna do a little bit of learning how to do some punches, okay? So we're gonna start standing up with our knees bent. So they need to be a little bit like shoulder width apart bending our knees because we always need to have a nice little bend to keep us going. We're gonna twist a little bit to the side, we're not fully facing the side. Okay, so we're facing in a bit of a diagonal. We're gonna have both of our hands in a fist. So we've got one leg in front and one leg behind. So we also have our front arm and our back arm. Okay, so they need to come up nice and high just underneath your chin keeping our legs nice and light and bouncy. So our first skill that we're gonna learn is our jab. So our jab comes from our front arm, so keeping both arms and knees bent. It's a nice quick punch forward, well it's a jab. So we're gonna use our front arm, we're gonna go quickly forward and back. So we'll have it nice and straight to start, uh, bent to start off with, and we're gonna straighten and then bring it back into a bend. Okay, so keeping those legs nice and bent, we're gonna go jab, nice and quick, forward and back. So it's really, really quick, this one, that's why it's called a jab, in and out. Keeping those knees bent, good job. Okay, we're gonna do a few more. One, two, three, four, okay. We're gonna try it all on the other side in a minute. For our next one, we're gonna do our punch. So this comes from our back arm. So we're gonna rest the other one, but we don't rest it, we keep it up nice and bent. Again, in the same position with your legs and your body, but we're just gonna reach forward with our back arm. So extending, we're gonna go straighten and bring it back. And also on this one, with our back leg, we can twist it a little bit. So we're keeping our legs bent. And as we reach forward, obviously our whole body will twist forward as well, so you can reach and your back leg, you're gonna come onto your toes and you're gonna twist a little bit so you can go forward. 
Okay, we're going to do this a few times. Nice and slow to start off with. Reach forward and back. Okay, so this one's our punch. You can go a little bit faster as well. One, two, three, four. Also, when we're doing our punches as well, we really need to engage our core because that's where all the strength comes from. Good job. Okay, I've got two more of these. We're going to do our hook next, which comes from our front arm this time. And this comes around in front of you, okay? So we're bending our elbow again, keeping our arm in our fist. The back arm stays where it is, keeping our legs nice and bent. And we're going to bring it all the way around. So try to lift your arm up into this position. We're going to go round, and that's our hook round. Okay, and you can bring it back into your position with your arms together. Then we're going to hook and back. Hook all the way around. Okay, good job. So that one was our hook. And our last one is our uppercut, which comes from our back arm. So again, we start in the same position. And we're going to bring our arm up this time. So instead of bringing it round like our hook, we're going to bring it down and up. And that one is our uppercut because we come up. So keeping our arms bent, we're going to go down and up like we're scooping our arm. Okay, so that one is our uppercut. And again, we're twisting our body on that one. And you can do the same with your back leg where we pivot it a little bit. Okay, we're going to do a couple of times. One, and together. Two, and together. Three, and four. Good job. Okay, we're going to switch to the other side. So, bending our knees on a little bit of an angle. But this time, we're going to do the same positions, but it's on the other way round. Okay, so we're going to do our jab, which is with our front arm. So, nice and quick, remember. You can lean into it as well, keeping your knees bent. You can go forward. Okay, keeping the back arm bent. Jab, jab. Good job. Okay, and our punch next comes from, yep, our back arm, okay? So this is the one where we pivot with our leg, and we can even lean back into it. So we're reaching forward, then we bend. You can bend nice and deep, forward and back. Forward and back. Remember to bring those arms together. Forward and back. One more. Good job. Okay, our hook now from our front arm. We're bringing it round, remember? Round and together. Round. Good job. And remember, you can also lift on your back leg, keeping your front legs, well, both legs nice and bent. And then you can just lean as you bring it round to go up. Good job. And our last one again is our uppercut. Remember from the back arm, bring those arms together, bend those knees. We're gonna go up and down, up and down, making sure it comes all the way up, scooping up and down. Good job, well done everyone. That was some of your martial arts. Okay, we're gonna do a nice quick little stretch before we go. Okay, so we're gonna stretch our arms out. We're gonna bring one arm forward we're gonna bring the other one so it comes up like our uppercut and we're gonna stretch it out. Keep breathing, in and out. Good job, really feel that stretch in your arm because we've really been working on our arms today. And we're gonna to switch to the other side. So bring your other arm into a straight line and the other arm up so we can pull it out to the side. Good job, keep breathing. And we're going to bring one arm up and over into a little bend. And we're going to push down on the arm, stretching it out, okay? I'll show you from the back. Good job, keep breathing. Really pulling on those muscles. Switch to the other arm, bending at the elbow and pulling it back. Good job, keep breathing. Okay, we're just going to bring those arms around into a nice circle. Okay, and onto the floor. We're just going to do a quick cobra stretch, one of my favourites. Arms underneath your shoulders, looking up to the ceiling. Really feel that stretch, keep your legs nice and straight. And breathe. And we're going to push back, bringing our bottom to our toes. Stretch those arms all the way out. 
and slowly come up and shake it off. Good job everyone, that was nice hard work and I'll see you all really shortly. Bye guys!